Hey everybody, Dan Anderson here with Kingdom Way with today's post to help you to love, live, and lead more like Jesus in your business and in your workplace. The last couple posts we've been talking about how you as a leader and how I as a leader can move from those unsettled moments in our life and turn that into being settled, to lead from a centeredness of our soul with our minds and hearts and will calibrated to the true kingdom north compass. The first week we talked about choosing holiness over happiness. Last time we talked about elevating the altitude of your attitude and how important that is to having a settled soul about us to bring our best leadership to everyone we're called to lead. And today I'd like to talk about this. Paul said in God, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, contentment with godliness is great gain. The linchpin to godliness and contentment, my friends, I think is this. It's learning acceptance over annoyance. Acceptance over annoyance. And here's what I mean by that. So many people have an unsettledness about their souls. And I have too. When I've let the expectations of others dictate my direction or give me a sense of pressure that I need to reach a certain goal or do things differently than the way I'm doing it. Sometimes I've seen this in leaders who are trying to keep up with the competition in their business. And so they, they sacrifice who they really are to pursue a shadow version of their calling. That is a sad state, my friends. I think of David when he was just a teenage boy showing up to the battle lines, willing courageously to face Goliath the giant. Saul, King Saul gives him his armor and he's walking around and it was just big and cumbersome and it just didn't work. He was just used to stones and a tunic as a shepherd boy. He said, I can't do this. You know what he was saying? He said, this isn't me. I can't do this. I have to be who I am. I have to accept the way I'm wired, my built, my experiences, and then lead and face even the giants of everyday business, if you will, from that identity and that perspective, accepting who he was. Sometimes I've seen this with others who admire the giftedness and abilities of others. They try to mimic it when that's not really who they are. And then one other story I'd like to share with you along these lines that's powerful, powerful to me at least, and I hope it is to you. When John the Baptist had his disciples come to him in John chapter 3, they said, John, John, do you see this guy over there named Jesus? He is baptizing people in droves. What is he saying? He said, the competition is getting the best of you. What are you going to do about it, John? And we know, maybe most of us, that he says uh, he must increase and I must decrease but here's a phrase we often forget that's really penetrating he said this to his disciples a man can only receive what he's been given from God and I tell you what with the people I've been privileged to coach in groups talk with on the phone exchange emails with I believe that there's a lot of unsettled souls and a discontent that wells up inside, a frustration because they haven't accepted their God-given assignment. They're trying to live someone else's out. So how are you maybe living up to the expectations of others? And maybe that is what's causing the unsettledness of your soul. How are you trying to jump into someone else's armor instead of living in your own. Love to hear your thoughts on this. What questions, what thoughts did this stir? Leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear them in exchange with you, other ideas. And I want to remind you not to forget to seek to make him famous as you make your work and your ministry one. We are with you and for you, and we hope you have an amazing day. Oh! One last thing, this week, Thursday, February 23rd, if you're in Northern Colorado near Fort Collins or in Denver, we have an amazing event you don't want to miss. 
Mark Whitaker, the movie, the informant that Matt Damon played as his character is coming to share with us, Mission Drift, how and why leaders lose their way and how they can get back. He's gonna be sharing his riveting story, how he was a FBI informant, how he came to Christ, and now how that he is empowering through a pump publicly traded company coke consolidated ministry efforts across the country it's one you won't want to miss in the morning in fort collins at lunch in denver choose the one that's best for you check out kingdomwayministries.net and the events tab i hope you'll join us and have a wonderful day